Thank you so much for Upbeat for sponsoring this video. More about Upbeat in the later part of the video. What's going on everyone? Ram here and welcome to another epic video and welcome to the second episode of Lightroom Mobile Masterclass Series Tutorial. And in today's tutorial, we'll be taking a look at how you can use the light tab available inside Lightroom Mobile and make your images pop out of others using the sliders and curves option available. So without further ado, let's go. So here we are inside Lightroom Mobile and I have imported some images and organized them into folders and albums just like this. By the way, if you guys want to know how you can import images inside Lightroom Mobile and organize them into folders and albums, I have provided link right above here and also in the description down below so that you guys could check it out. Once you have imported all of your images, select any image to go inside the edit page or the develop page. And this is how the edit page or the develop page looks like. And as I said in the intro, we'll be dealing with the light tab which is located right over here. So these are all the sliders that we will be working with today. And also we'll be dealing with the curves option which is right above here. By the way, if you guys want to know more about curves option, I have made a tutorial based on it before. You guys could check it out in the description or you can check it up right here. I'll be going through each and every slider and explaining to you how each and every slider affects the image in this tutorial. But before editing any image, we need to know what is called as a histogram. Histogram is a graphical representation of a waveform which shows you whether your image is perfectly exposed or not. If your histogram is way towards right side, it's going to be overexposed. And if your histogram is way towards left side, it's going to be underexposed. And if your histogram stays in between, it's going to be the proper exposure of your image. Histogram, waveform and exposure, kind of confusing. But if you guys are passionate music listeners, you might know how a waveform works in music. And while talking about music and waveforms, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Upbeat. Upbeat is an online music library which provides access for downloading copyright free music for your YouTube videos just for free. The music tracks that you find in Upbeat are of high quality and also has different genres to play with. Let's say that I have created a product montage and I want a perfect music track for it to be matched. I can easily go into that montage playlist, select my energy, vocals and the duration of the music track and start listening. If I want to download a music later, I can put that particular track into my favorites list and could move with the next track and start listening. On the free plan, you get access for downloading 10 free tracks each and every month once you sign into Upbeat which is more than enough for a creator who is starting out with content creation. And with their premium subscription, you get unlimited downloads for around 7 dollars or 500 rupees each and every month which is obviously cheaper and cost effective for a creator who is doing content creation as their full time job. You can also download their sound effects which will be released soon. I think Upbeat is going to be the most cheap and best option in 2021 for each and every content creator who is up on the social media platform. The music right now you are listening is from Upbeat called Waterways by 92 Elm which is a calm and stylish chill beat music. To know more about Upbeat, check the link in the description down below. So now we all know what a histogram is all about. In order to enable the histogram inside Lightroom Mobile, simply select the three dot icon right there and click on show histogram so that it displays the histogram on the left side of your screen just like this. And now we are good to go. The first slider is going to be the exposure slider. Basically the exposure slider controls the overall brightness of your image. So if I just drag it way towards right side, it's going to overexpose the image and if I just drag it way towards left side, it's going to underexpose the image. So try to make sure that you use the exposure slider as proper as possible. So I'm going to park the exposure around 0.58% and that looks perfect. So if I just do before and after, we have made a drastic change in the brightness of the image. And next comes the contrast slider. Contrast slider basically adds or decreases contrast in your image. And there is a small rule in editing which is if you increase the exposure, decrease the contrast and if you decrease the exposure, increase the contrast so that you can have some dynamic range while you are editing the image. So I'm going to take the contrast way down towards minus 40% just like that. By the way, if you guys want to reset any kind of slider inside Lightroom Mobile, simply double tap on the slider to make the slider go to its native position just like this. So I'm going to take my contrast around minus 40% just like that. And next comes the highlight slider. 
basically highlights are the brightest parts of the image which has some detail in it so if i just increase the highlight slider it's going to affect the brightest parts of the image which has some detail in it around 40 percent fits perfect and the shadows are going to be the darkest parts of the image which has some detail in it so i'm going to increase the shadows a little bit around 18 or 20 percent just like that so this is before and this is after now we are having a pretty decent image the whites and blacks are brightest and darkest points of the image which doesn't have any kind of detail in them but if you just minutely watch the particular change that we are making it's going to give you a better idea of what i'm doing if i just zoom in and if i just increase the whites a little bit you can see in the background the whites are increasing and decreasing basically whites doesn't go with any kind of detail but if your image has overexposed image just like a sunlight on your background it's going to give a decent difference while you are editing the image and if i just decrease the blacks you can see my hair and the particular dress color is going to go way better decent on the image so this is before and this is after i think we have made a pretty decent change using these sliders and now we can move on with the curves option curves are one of the best options when it comes to photo editing and also when it comes to video editing as i said before i have made an in-depth tutorial based on how to use the curves option in any kind of software so if you guys want to check it out i have provided a link in the description down below the first curve that we are going to see is called as the rgb curve basically the rgb curve affects the highlights shadows and the midtones in the overall image including the white and black points basically i would love to take my black point which is the bottom most point and raise it up a little bit so that i can get a filmic faded look and after that i'll be creating a point in my shadows and i'll drag it down a little bit and i'll take my highlights and raise it up a little bit so that i could give some contrast to my image so i think we have made a pretty decent change using the rgb curves and next comes the red curve basically i would like to have a teal and orange look when it comes to my photos and also in my videos so i'm going to take my bottom most point which is the black point in my red curves and i'm going to drag it a little bit down so that the black points has some teal in them and i would like to take my mid tones and raise it up a little bit so that it gives some oranges onto my skin tones and i could perfect them and i think the image is pretty much done i think we don't need to touch the green curves and blue curves as we have made the particular look that we want and that is pretty much done for this tutorial get pumped up for the next tutorial where i'll be teaching you about the color tab which is right next to the light tab and we'll be manipulating each and every colors which i love the most inside lightroom mobile so let me go with some final thoughts so that is pretty much for wrapping up today's video if you found this video more helpful drop a like and comment below and if you guys are new for the channel make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications i guarantee you that you will not regret it follow me on instagram the link is in the description so kindly check it out and i'll be meeting you guys in my next video